This hotel is really nice. As you can see, there's plenty of uh, storage space, uh, shower coats, sandals, there's a safe, heaps of storage space, umbrella. Yeah, so um, this is about 10 baht more than the last place, 20 baht more than the last place. There's a microwave, really big fridge with a freezer. Uh, it's not a bar fridge. So there's a cooktop, microwave, wash-up facilities, there's crockery, cutlery, everything you need for a nice stay. A really nice bathroom, really nice clean bathroom. You know, and all the bathroom facilities of course. Nice shower, very clean. Yeah, I'm impressed, 900 baht. 900 baht a night. So yeah, almost as, well basically it's a condo. Yeah, so, you know, really good smart TV and uh, modem in the room. Yeah, modem in the room. Got the password on it, everything easily accessible. It's on level six. Soy 8 Sukhumvit. I've never tried this hotel before, though I regularly stay in Soy 8 when I come to uh, Bangkok. Uh, but uh, I thought I'd try this, and at 900 baht, that's really, really good, a good price. I'm um, gonna shoot some more a bit later. As you can see, I'm in the middle of it at the moment. Walking. I'm only using the phone, I'm not using the GoPro or anything, so. Well, the street stalls are back now, so that's a really good sign. As you can see, there's a whole number of things you can buy on those street stalls. Masks, sunglasses, reading glasses, watches, knives, you know. Up here you've got uh, all the fun things, the Viagra. Please, can I touch? Chick with the... Uh, Camagra and all the sex toys wouldn't let me shoot a video of it. <laughs> Started spitting the dummy out completely. Girls work in the streets everywhere. I feel so sorry for them. Not enough bars open for them to work. They're freelancing on the street. Got no money for food. It's a bit uh, sad, really. Some of them uh, couldn't go home to the pro provinces when uh, COVID hit because uh, there was uh, no home to go to for some of them, so they live in the streets. Okay, I'm just approaching Soy 13, Sukhumvit, because I'm gonna get a haircut here. Okay, so I've had my haircut. A little bit expensive, but it is Bangkok. I guess I'm used to the prices in Cha um, Bangkok's a little bit more expensive. I'm heading up here to Terminal 21. I think you get off at Asok beat the air, so I've walked up here from Soy 8. So further up the road is Soy Cowboy, I'm sure you're all familiar with that. And uh, as you well know, I don't film around the bars. You know, a lot of the girls and a lot of the guys that are there, they don't want to be on the internet for various reasons. And uh, I won't film those places. I may occasionally, if people are dancing and having a good time and uh, not playing up, but then uh, I'll do that. But uh, I've got to go into the mall here and I forgot to bring a mask with me. So I'll probably have to... My me. BTS? BTS? Cup on a cup. Okay, so I'm in the mall now. Some of these malls in Bangkok are pretty expensive. A little bit ritzy. I'm gonna go and have a look uh, for something to eat. I'm just looking at these t-shirts here, but they're 300 baht each. At the market, the last four t-shirts I bought, I got uh, three for 100. That's right, three t-shirts I bought at the uh, Hen Night Market. I got three for a hundred baht. I don't think I'm going to get that in here. I may, but we'll see how we go. There's more stone, stone everywhere. So I'm just going to go down and get a 
feed feed myself up and then I'll wander around the mall I might shoot some more in here just to give you an idea of the malls in Bangkok a little bit different to uh, Market Village in uh, Hua Hin what's on offer in Hua Hin chat um, I'm looking to see if there's uh, some specials on some bargains to be had because of the uh, COVID situation and everything being so quiet so I still want to go down food court is normally always on the bottom floor but I'm on the market for some t-shirts but I'm absolutely certain they won't have plain white t-shirts I'm gonna have to go to uh, one of the more uh, economic department stores I guess rather than one of these shops mango I can't see myself paying extra money just for a brand name Quicksilver shop approaching the food court and I'm gonna sit down and have a feed and we'll see what's on offer I'll keep shooting because oh, there's a supermarket in here too so I want to get some I want to see if they've got Vegemite I'm pretty sure this supermarket this gourmet market has stuff for them foreigners so I'm gonna have a look in here a lot of the locals that live in condos and stuff like that around Bangkok foreigners that uh, are working or stuck here uh, come to this place to get supplies as you can see you can get small packs of things to take home which I might do later on although I'm only here for one more night so maybe I won't I want to get something to take home with me. I'm looking for some Vegemite. Got a lot of stuff here. Grapes, avocados. Not sure where they're from. Let me see if I can find some. <laughs> see if I can get sweet corn in a packet. <laughs> so let's have a look and see if we can find some Vegemite. get something to eat now not ice cream but that looks pretty good green apple yogurt milky yogurt mango yogurt special up with mint chocolate yogurt have a look at that mm. I might have to have a stop here after I get something to eat Sushi, do I want sushi? It's always so hard eating in Thailand because there's so much delicious food. And I don't really want noodles. I don't really want noodles. Okay, the smell in here is just phenomenal. It's making me even more hungry. So let me cut ice cold sahi. Food is coming. So here's lunch, although that might not be all I eat. And uh, I've got my asahi there, my ice cold asahi. This looks delicious and it smells just as good as it looks. So we'll see how it uh, tastes. I'm going to eat now and uh, you know, I'll put up the price and everything like that uh, later on when I edit the video. Yeah, it might be a bit of a strange one this video, this little trip to Bangkok. I'm just wandering around the place. I've got to find a place called Central World now and get a taxi to some market that I don't know the name of. But apparently they sell um, clothes very cheaply there. If you buy three, you get a much cheaper price, blah, 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 blah. As you can see, a lot of these malls and uh, condos and office blocks in Bangkok are conveniently uh, all connected, interconnected with uh, walkways and whatnot. So yeah, it, it's pretty convenient, the BTS. Very, very convenient indeed. Okay, we'll talk okay, later. So, wandering aimlessly around Bangkok, that's what this video is going to be called. No uh, clickbait, sex-oriented uh, themes, just 
wandering aimlessly around Bangkok. So here's Central World. It's not very far from Chitlom, BTS station. And I'm looking for a market called Petunam. And apparently it's down here and the security guard I just talked to about it said within walking distance. So let's see. So we're going to Petunam market. Talat Petunam. Petunam. Talat Petunam. Oh, that's a bit of a mouthful. Talat Petunam. I like the way a lot of these buildings in Bangkok have uh, big gardens and some of them have hanging gardens on them. Not a great deal, but there's a lot of glass. I think that's why it gets so damn hot here. Glass and concrete. Okay, so I'll tune in again when we get to Talat Petunam. Talat Petunam. Interesting little area. Interesting little area. And uh, as you can see, those buildings, they've got advertising and video all over them, you know. For a country that's so big on tech, more so than Australia, and internet speed's fantastic. It's unbelievable when you've got to do some sort of admin work that you uh, end up having to do so much paperwork. Interesting architecture everywhere. Big mix of architecture everywhere in this place. Very, very busy. Chang. That's for you, Rob. For Rob Grove, Lord Mayor of Cha'am. Chang. Some of you people that are more, uh, less foreign to Bangkok than I am will probably know this area and the market. But, uh, new to me, wandering around Chitlom area, so yeah, so you've got to be careful, there's no fucking stopping at pedestrian crossings. <laughs> market, look at this, real hair, real hair. And you girls back in us want some real hair, real extensions. Tell me what colour you want and I can uh, buy some for you and send it home. Check it out. Real hair. Okay, so in the market now, let's have a look around for some cheap clothing. There does appear to be a lot of things open in here. It might be a night market, I don't know. But we'll have a look. Wandered into some devotional section to uh, King Boingo. The one that Thai people really love. Apparently he used to cam carry a camera and a notebook everywhere he went to uh, take note of what the people wanted and what the people needed. Yeah, not much open at all. But I'll have a look. Just want some shorts, two shorts. I shall see. At the very least, I'll buy some boxes. Not much open at all. It is the clothing mark, though, apparently. something like I want so I'll turn off at the moment. 
Okay, so I finished at the uh, Platinum Market. Wasn't much open in there, but I managed to get some shirts and a pair of shorts. But I tell ya, a lot of you who know me know I'm not extremely fond of cats. There were that many cats in there, and the place reeked of cat shit and cat pee so much. I had to keep going outside to get a breath of fresh air. It was absolutely terrible. So yeah, wandering around aimlessly in Bangkok, shopping. I'm gonna head back to the hotel now and have a little bit of a rest before I meet up with my mate Terry. Yeah, there's just something about Bangkok. Even in the middle of the city, you know, I find, I don't know, I just find these temples sort of exotic or something, you know, it's very interesting, beautiful to see. And see people going past and paying their respects at every temple they go past and sometimes people in there praying at lunchtime. Yeah. And uh, if I can, sometime today, I'll try to show you. Yeah, there's still some really tropical green areas in Bangkok as well. A really cosmopolitan city, I really, really like it as far as city goes. But really is invaluable in Bangkok and you don't know your way around to be able to pronounce the Thai words for the names of the places that you're going to very very important so when visiting is allowed again when when you come to Bangkok or come to Thailand really important that when someone tells you the name of a place that you you get it and you get it right and you can pronounce it right and it makes it so much easier to get around yeah, really makes it a lot more easy to uh, ask people where you're going and uh, easier for them to uh, let you know where that place may be.